Now the last step we need to do is steer traffic to the Speed Fusion Cloud. So setting all, setting all this up doesn't necessarily start protecting your traffic until you tell the router what traffic to protect. So to do that, we have to set outbound policies. So if we come to advanced, then you click on outbound policy. Now we can actually start to carve out traffic or, or devices that we want to protect through the Speed Fusion Cloud. So we're going to click on add a rule. Before we do that, actually, let me just take a look at the client list. I'll show you, I'll show you what we're going to do here. If we go to status and then client list, we've got this IP phone here on the network. So this is, we're gonna copy the IP address of this IP phone. So let's say this is a remote worker of yours. You're sending a, a voice over IP phone with your remote employee so that they can take calls and talk to customers from their home. And again, voice over IP is one of those finicky applications where you know, available bandwidth or quality of bandwidth at your home just might not be enough to make the voice quality consistently good. And so you don't want your, your users at home having kind of unprofessional garbly vo voice calls. You want to make sure that they've got a good, a good voice experience when they're, when they're using that phone. You also don't want to protect that, that person's children's Netflix traffic, right? You don't, you don't want to send all of that traffic to the Speed Fusion Cloud. You want to just make sure that you're protecting the things that matter to the work side of what your people are doing at home. So if we go back to the outbound policy section, we're going to create a rule to protect that phone's traffic. So I click on add a rule. I'm just going to call this IP phone. And so we took the IP address of that phone. So I'm going to enter that in as the, as the source. So anything coming from this phone, I'm telling this, this rule to protect it. And I don't care where that phone is talking to. And so I like to use the priority algorithm because it's, it's very flexible. And so what we're going to do here is you can see on the right, there's these two Speed Fusion Cloud tunnels that are not in use right now. I'm going to drag those over to the top of the list. So what I've done is I've dragged, I've dragged over the Speed Fusion Cloud WAN smoothing profile first, because again, that's a great way to protect voice traffic. If that WAN smoothing tunnel isn't available for some reason, then it's going to go down to the next item on the list, and that's the Speed Fusion Cloud default tunnel. So that's going to give me the bonding and hot failover. Still definitely better than not protecting the traffic at all. WAN smoothing is ideal, but if that's not available, again, we can switch back to at least give it that hot failover. Now, if the Speed Fusion Cloud is unavailable completely, priority lets me just move on down the list to use whatever internet connection might might be there. So we've got some fallback plans if Speed Fusion Cloud, for whatever reason, isn't there. I like to use this terminate sessions on link recovery. That's basically your fallback. So if we start out and WAN smoothing isn't available, but five minutes later, we, we find that, that that profile is connected, checking that terminate sessions on link recovery box is going to steer that traffic back to the higher priority connection when it becomes available instead of leaving it at wherever, wherever it got set up. So I'm going to click Save. OK, so we can see we've got the IP phone rule here. And I'm going to apply those changes. So now we can see we've got both tunnels up. Everything looks happy. We've got green lights everywhere. I'm going to come back to the Speed Fusion, the status page, and we'll look at Speed Fusion. And so here you can see those two different Speed Fusion profiles. You get all the nitty gritty technical details about them. So you can see the latency of each of my cellular connections to the Speed Fusion cloud. You can see if there's any packet loss. And right now you can see there's really no traffic going through any, either of those connections. The other thing we can look at here, if we go to status and active sessions,
We can see there's no active traffic happening right now. So we're going to boot up that phone and just see what it does. So I've just powered up, I've just reset that phone so that we can get that connected and have it follow that Speed Fusion Cloud rule that we created. Okay, so I've got my phone online. If we look at the active sessions table, we should see we've got this is my phone again, 192.168.50.10. You can see it's got two sessions right now going through that WAN smoothing profile that we that we told it to. So it, we're just validating that the device that we've chosen to protect is actually being protected. So that all looks great. So we're going to come back to the Speed Fusion page, the Speed Fusion status page. I'm going to make a quick phone call. So here you can see there's traffic going across all of the different internet connections. Again, that's what WAN smoothing's purpose is. It's, it's meant to duplicate all your traffic so that it goes across every one in case one of those fails or has an issue. Now, again, if we look at the graph, I think this is a really good way to visualize it. So you can see there's different colors. There's a lot going on here because we've got four internet connections active and the PDX has all kinds of available connections. But you can see the, the stacked colors here on the graph. And so that represents the duplicated traffic. So you've got the call going out all four cellulars at once. And you can see some of the graphs, some of the colors are have some spikes on them and some of them don't. And so that's what WAN smoothing does is it, it fills in those gaps. As one connection has a little hiccup or a skip, it, it sends those duplicate packets out so that the other connection can pick up the slack for it. So again, this is the best way to guarantee you've got absolutely smooth calls when, you, when you're doing voice, voice over IP over, over unreliable connections. So I just hung up that call. And now you can see the graph is tapered off. The traffic has stopped going through there. Again, on the, on the table view, again, you see there's really no traffic going through the Speed Fusion Cloud again. And if we come back to the dashboard, you can see we use just a tiny little bit of bandwidth. Our 100 gigabytes of free usage has dropped down to 99.99. And so you get a pretty real-time view of how much traffic you've used there on that, on that dashboard panel.